Hey everyone, I'm Boone, and this video is going to show you how to use my new Instagram guides for Premiere Pro product. So Adobe's April 2019 release of Premiere Pro added new rulers and guides, and you can now create your own custom guides as well as import and export guide templates. Therefore, these Instagram guide templates will only work in this version of Premiere Pro, version 13.1 and later versions. So the guide templates I created will help you edit and perfectly position content that you're exporting for Instagram. I've included templates for vertical, portrait, and square formats. Use these for stories, your feed, or even Instagram TV. Now, while these were designed specifically for Instagram, you can also use them for both Twitter and Facebook if you prefer. For the first step, you wanna add the rulers and guides buttons. This is gonna make it much easier to work with guides. Now I'm going to open up the button editor of the program monitor and then drag over the rulers and guides buttons. Now when I click these, it's quickly going to toggle these features on and off. For step two, I'm going to import the guide templates. Now these templates are .guides files. To bring them in, you'll need to select the program monitor and then click on view, guide templates, manage guides. With this dialog box open, select the import button. Next, simply navigate to the downloaded Instagram guides folder and import each individually. For step three, let's take a look at how to use the guides. Now there are eight guide templates that I created. Four are for 1920 by 1080 sequences, and the other four were designed specifically for 4K sequences. Now once installed, simply select the program monitor and then click view guide templates, and then select which one you wanna see. Now sometimes if you're switching between sequences, your guides might sometimes look wrong. If this happens, simply turn them off and back on again via the guides button in the program monitor. There you go, now you can perfectly position your elements using the position and scale properties inside of the effect controls panel. For the last step, we wanna install our export presets that come included with the product. Now while the guides are gonna help you perfectly position your content, you still need to worry about your export settings. For this, I've included presets for all formats, including vertical, portrait, square, and even landscape. To use these, open up the export settings dialog box, set your format to H.264, and then click on the import preset button, which is just to the right of the presets drop down menu. Now you can navigate to the Instagram export presets folder and bring each one in. So to get clips from your desktop to your mobile device, you can use programs like Google Drive or Dropbox, simply upload via your desktop and then share via the app on your phone. And there you have it. Now you're gonna really speed up your workflow when you're exporting things for Instagram.